It's a beautiful background, isn't it? Beautiful background. I'm down there by Crow Lane, next to Aberfeldy National. Outside the National Trust is a small little park. So as you can see, the scenery, the boats. You know, this is Bermuda. But I'm going to discuss about the rules of a good tour guide. Because, you know, I see people following the traditional ways. And I'm not discriminating or trying to argue against the, um, the traditional ways of doing tours. But neither am I bashing it. But my purpose here bringing this video is to bring my perspective. And I will consider my perspective to be unique and out of the box. Because when you're unique and out of the box, you, have, you could develop something that's memorable. That leaves a lasting impression on people's minds. No matter what you're doing, you want to leave a lasting impression. And when it comes to this industry, right there, the hospitality industry, the tourism industry, the entertainment industry, you know, to me, in my opinion, tour guides fall underneath the entertainment industry. Because you gotta wine and dine, you gotta entertain. You gotta give them something unique, a unique perspective, something that they've never heard before. So that when they leave, they'll talk about you. So you want to smile. You don't want to be looking angry or sad or happy. Because that's going to... What that's going to do is going to send out the wrong signal, the wrong energy in the atmosphere with your visitors when you're taking them on tour. So, you know, you want to be relaxed. You know? You want to keep your hygiene in order. You want to make sure you're smelling nice. So, you know, if you're doing a tour in the hot summer, you want to carry extra shirt, a shirt with you to change, you know, and um, you want to get them involved. You want to make it interactive. You want to make it like a two-way involved. You don't just want to be lecturing and standing in front of people and lecturing. You want to get to know them. You want to introduce yourself. You want to introduce them to you. And you don't want to wear them out either. You know, you don't want to take them on these long walks in between where they ain't either, you know, they ain't viewing nature or viewing anything a museum or one of the historical churches or anything so you don't want to be taking them on these long walks either these long walks you want to take them on adventures whereas when they do, they do walk when you take them to an area a designated spot for a tour and when you are walking and passing by things you're walking and passing by things that are that are memorable that are sort of like it could be like a sculptures it could be like wildlife control wildlife you know what I mean not wow out out of the control wildlife but wildlife you know places areas we can see birds bluebirds rare birds long tails like an area like this like if I'm walking through her to get down there you know I'm walking through a nice historical area you know I could be teaching them things sharing them little things N not stopping long but briefly before I get to my next destination so you always want to have those spots where you could, where you're passing by, where you could stop br briefly before you get to your main destination, where you want to show them around. These little stop and go spots where they could learn something and move, you know could keep on moving until you get to your other spot where you're gonna spend more time. And you know you could mix it up. You know, I might even like me, like I'm even thinking about when I do my tours, like having music there. You know what I mean? It ain't gotta be loud. That could be like a little music. So when you are walking, you got something to entertain them. You know, and especially if it's summer, you want to carry some water with. You want to keep your people cool. You know, you don't want your people to get no sweaty and prospering. You don't want nobody to flop out neither. And also, you want to offer um, you might want to offer hats, option for hats or the um, umbrellas that go over your head. Especially if it's summer and you're doing a tour, and, you know, water and them towels to keep you know help with the sweat. Or even if you're doing night tours in the summer, like you only want to provide them with the off spray to keep the mosquitoes off. You know, so you want to make the experience memorable for them. You don't want the experience to be like, okay, the tour was good, but, you know, I was sweating like crazy. I didn't have nothing to cool me down. I never told to wipe my sweat off. And that's enough to turn somebody off. So you want to go over and beyond. And when I mean over and beyond, you ain't got to be doing these extraordinary things, but you got to be doing things that complement your guests. So part of that is like paying attention to what's not being done on a tour. Okay, if I do this, would it be a benefit? So simple things like that. 
what's not being provided on the tour that you could add as a compliment or you could sell it or it could be on a discount so long as it adds to the comfort and the enjoyment of your your tours for your tours all right my name is Jamal House. I'm from Bermuda thank you for watching my video I'll be talking to you real soon have a great day